This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here in Dubai. I'm joined by D4G Promotions' very own Ahmed A. Siddiqui. Uh, a huge event tomorrow night. Let's start off with Everlast. They are sponsoring the event, uh, a massive brand in boxing. Uh, it must be a proud moment that Everlast are back in this fight. Of course, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for us to, uh, to have Everlast uh, with us on this event, you know, a brand which has been boxing for a really long time. One of all the greatest boxers have been, you know, involved in the brand. And congratulations to IFL TV for the collaborations as well. So, yeah, wishing you guys the best in that collaboration. And uh, hopefully it goes for a really long time. So, happy to see that. Thank you very much for that. So, how did this massive fight tomorrow night land in Dubai? Well, it was a long process, a lot of hard work that has been put into it, you know. We've been building the region for a while. It's been a while now, you know. Uh, last year we had a few great events as well, European on a European level. And today, uh, uh, thanks to God, uh, a world title in Dubai. You know, it's a historical moment, it's a historical fight as well. Frampton winning this title is going to be a great. It's a big deal in the boxing world, especially for uh, the island of Ireland. Um, Jamil Herring as well is a great fighter to uh, the champion. You know, to be here, it's. Welcome everybody to Dubai and we welcome bigger fights as well, you know, to come to Dubai too. So we're really looking forward to that. I think it's fair to say it's a power move in the boxing world from D4G Promotions to bring this fight and stage this fight. Is that a fair comment? Very fair comment. You know, the power move didn't come easy in an easy way. You know, we've been putting a lot of, really a lot of effort, you know. And a lot of people still don't know what we've been putting, have been doing for the sport in the past. Eight years, uh, we've been really pushing uh, a lot to have such great events coming to Dubai. Um, yes, it is a power move. Thanks to God again, uh, we've, uh, we're in contact with the, with the top players in the game, and, um, and, and we're honest people, you know, honest people coming to the game and, and, and trying to bring the the biggest fights for Dubai. As, as you know, Dubai is a great place. 200 different nationalities uh, living here as you see the card is from different parts of the world as well you know so that's that shows a bit of uh, of, of, of the the whole uh, society here in Dubai and you know you see all the infrastructures the hotels uh, the restaurants uh, everything is here what was lacking is just good sporting events and me being part of uh, the boxing world I'm happy to it's a pleasure for me to bring such a big fight to, to Dubai as you say, a very, very big fight. But I can guarantee one thing, you won't be just satisfied with doing this event and then calling boxing off. You want to bring all the big events to Dubai, don't you? Of course, you know, it's going to be a waste of time. You know, if I, we just bring one event and stop, you know, that's, that's not building. That's not building. That's just focusing on one and, and stop for another year and then coming with another just one fight. You know, that doesn't make sense. You know, if you want, if you want to build the region, we have to keep the momentum going on. We can't, we can't just stop and, and wait. And we can't, you know, we can't allow anything to stop us. Nothing to stop us. Not, not the COVID-19, not, uh, you know, nothing. So we just have to keep on going forward and, uh, and start building the region, you know. And when I say build the region, again, it's not just one fight. It's, it's a momentum, you know. Keep on coming with two, three, four different world title fights in between that smaller fights. So... So we have to keep that, you know. All ha as I mentioned yesterday in the press conference, you know, a lot of eyes has been on Dubai for a while. Uh, when I say a while, it's around more than 10 years. But uh, but now it's the time. It's never too late, you know. It's never too late. And I'm guessing some major fights are being worked on right now in in the works to to be to be brought to Dubai. What's that? Uh, I'm guessing some some major fights are being planned to to bring to Dubai in the works. Yes, yes, on a high level. On a high level, uh, world titles. Let's let's be more clear. Uh, but we are in the work for uh, for bringing uh, more fights, and hopefully, with all the restrictions, uh, we can have the next fights at the um, Coca-Cola Arena, which is a state-of-the-art arena. You know, which can take up to 15,000 people. So that's 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 the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. And for people watching this, what would you say about Dubai, and why it should be the capital of boxing? Well, as I mentioned, you know, it's, 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 it's a city with uh, 200 different nationalities living in and working here. Uh, you have the best hotels, you have a great infrastructure, you have the best restaurants, you know. 
uh, everybody's friendly, everybody's, you know, outgoing here. Have, it's, it's, uh, I could compare it somehow, you know, to Las Vegas, but again, without the casinos, you know, and the entertainment is there. And, and as mentioned, uh, the sporting events is just not there. And, uh, uh, you know, last week uh, we had the uh, horse race World Cup, which is a very big event. And then you have in Abu Dhabi the Formula One. But other than that, there isn't much happening. So, so and, and I think boxing goes very well along with Dubai. You know, the crowd here, the people here. We just, we just have to realistically, we have to build a proper fan base. Uh, you know, attract more people coming and enjoying them fights. You know, no matter it's a big fight or it's a medium scale fight. So we need to gain that uh, fan base. Yes. Well, we know there's Americans who live here, lots of Brits who live here, Eastern Europeans, etc., who would all, you know, come to boxing events because they're very passionate about it. But in terms of that Arab market, um, people from Dubai, how's that sitting in terms of their attachment to boxing at the moment? Look, once upon a time, you know, back in the 70s, the days Muhammad Ali used to fight, like talking about my parents, my family, you know, the elder generation, everybody used to wake up to... to I think they're just going to have a weigh-in. We'll pick this back up. Just picking this back up, there was one more weigh-in to conclude. You were talking about the locals here and getting them more into boxing, so yeah. Yes, the, um, getting the... Uh, building a fan base, which is important, you know. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, let's be realistic, the fan base is still not there, but uh, I expect within the next... Uh, two years let's be realistic next two years we will have a proper fan base I mean even the the Emirati as I was saying before I just remembered um, back in the days uh, when Muhammad Ali used to fight they used to wake up four in the morning everybody used to wake up four in the morning just to watch his fight so we have that thing in the in the in the, in, 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 in the UAE that there is some kind of involvement with boxing and then slowly uh, slowly people are getting more into it so, so that's Robert, sorry. Yeah, so um, let's talk about quickly uh, the card. Uh, you got fighters from all over the globe, uh, from India, from Dubai here, uh, from Russia, um, really showcasing what Dubai is about as well. Yes, exactly. It's, it's, it's a multinational place. Uh, when it comes to boxing, we want to get that same, same vibe as well, you know, with the city. So uh, it's, it's, it goes along very well with it. And then eventually it attracts the different uh, different cultures, uh, different nationalities living here, joining them fights, supporting them fighters coming from their countries. You know, we have a lot of Kazakhs living here, as you know, a lot of uh, Europeans, East Europeans, uh, 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 Irish, Mexicans, Venezuelans, everywhere. It's from everywhere, you know. So, so we we like to mix them. Uh, the different nationalities on the fight cards always since we started I always had that thing in my mind where we have as much different nation nationalities as as we can in the fight cards and of course in the States this is live on ESPN plus and in the UK live on Channel 5 the main event it's gonna go out to millions and millions of people across the world so that must be proud hosting this event and and for the the, the place of Dubai it must be a proud moment Oh, ex extremely proud it's also going to be broadcasted on ESPN knockout to 60 million households in Latin America as well. So, uh, yes, uh, the Filipino communities, Donny Nietes is fighting a Filipino legend. Uh, uh, you know, the com Filipino community here as well is the second uh, biggest community outside the Philippines, you know. So, uh, it's, it's all around the world. It's all around the world. We're, we're really, it's a very proud moment. Sometimes we don't realize how big this fight is. And now, there were some rumours that came out earlier this week about potential talks of a fight between Terence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao landing in Abu Dhabi uh, in June sometime. Can you make perhaps any comment on this? Uh, not much comments on that as uh, different uh, speculations come uh, from, the, uh, from the journalists online. You know, some day it's, they say it's happening, the other day they're saying it's, it's, it's not happening. So. Look, whatever it is, if, if it happens, it's still good for boxing. It's, it's, it's the same country, alhamdulillah, you know, and we're all one. If it happens there, it happens here, wherever it happens, that's, as long as it happens, you know. Uh, we want big boxing events coming to the uh, UAE. Well, you won't really get much bigger uh, right now than Fury Joshua. Of course, this fight has been trying to made for such a long time. Um, we're still not 
finally there. I think they've signed some sort of paperwork, but site fees and a venue and a date haven't been uh, agreed yet by both parties. Have you made an effort to bring that fight to Dubai and talk to all the promoters about bringing that here? We haven't put that effort yet. It's a, it's a big bill. It's a big bill to bring it uh, uh, to the region, you know, as of now. Uh, it, it, hopefully again, you know, hopefully it comes to the region. We will be really happy. The more, the more bigger events come to the region, the better it is for boxing, the better it is for building the sport, the better it is to, to gain the fan base, to, 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 to build the regional fighters. So I hope it comes to the region. I hope it comes. It makes sense, of course, for it to happen in, in, the, in, the, the, in Vegas or in the, in the UK. But again, uh, me being from the region, I would be happy to, ha to see that fight happening here. And uh, it will be good for boxing and especially for the region. Yes. Of course, Las Vegas is known as the capital of boxing. It has been for some time. But do you believe there's a shift happening now in that, you know, in a few years, even sooner rather than later, the Middle East, Middle East region and maybe even Dubai might replace Las Vegas? I wouldn't say replace Las Vegas. It's, uh, it's quite different. You know, you have the biggest fan base in the world are from, uh, from the United States and from the UK. So time difference, you know, unless, unless uh, we are willing to do fights here on primetime US, UK, you know, so... If that's the case and people start getting used to it, like, like what they did with the UFC, they had it on primetime uh, uh, US uh, once they had it in Abu Dhabi and uh, it, was, it wasn't too bad. I think, you know, a fight like, let's say, a fight like a heavyweight bout coming, uh, world championship coming to the region, uh, no matter what time it is, people are still going to be waiting outside the arenas to, 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 to get the chance to watch that fight. It's a, it's a moment that... Uh, historical moments, you know, so uh, it could be a capital. Yes, yes, I can. I've been seeing that for a long time, you know, and uh, we hope it will. And we're going to be putting uh, all what we have, all the effort we have to, to try to make that happen. Yes. Well, I think this is from all boxing fans. Uh, big thank you for getting this fight on. A brilliant fight between Jamel Herring and Carl Frampton here in, here in Dubai tomorrow night. Uh, and to everyone at D4G Promotions, uh, massive credit for getting this on. Is there just a, a final word you'd like to leave on IFL TV about this brilliant main event tomorrow night? We're just really looking forward to it. It's a, it's a moment uh, to remember. Let's not forget Allah is the greatest, you know, when it comes to everything. Without, without God, nothing would happen. And then, you know, the whole team that's been putting the full effort into, uh, into, into all this to make it happen to the fighters. Welcome all the fighters. We welcome the boxing world to Dubai, to the region. Uh, and uh, just sit back and enjoy the fight. It's, it's going to be a historical night. That's it, you know. Just quickly forgot as well. I can hear him behind me. That's what I remembered. We can't uh, do this interview and not mention Keyshawn Davis. They're all saying, everyone in boxing, he's going to be the future of the sport. And I know you're very excited about Keyshawn Davis as well. I'm oh, really excited. I'm, I've seen that guy, you know, spar uh, last few weeks and uh, he's the future of USA boxing. I can say that. You know, I've, this is my daily job and I've, I always see fighters and, uh, you know, a person like him. Uh, wow, I, I was quite impressed, you know. Quite impressed. Only his second professional fight tomorrow, but he's got an aura of a superstar already. Yes, he is. He is. He is. He is, he is on that superstar level. You know, we're looking. We're happy. We're happy to have them fighters all on this uh, card. So, really excited. Really excited. Well, thank you very much for your time here in Dubai. Thank you for the great welcome as well. It's been a great week so far, and it's going to get even better tomorrow night uh, with a, a stacked card. So, thank you very much, Song to IFL TV. Thank you very much. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Thank you.